Hi, everyone who likes Shakespeare. And by every one of you, I mean all one of you. My name is John Tufts, and I'm an actor, and I do a lot of Shakespeare. If you don't believe me, here's a picture of me in tights doing some Shakespeare. Still don't believe me? And honestly, why would I lie about something like that? Here's another picture of me getting sad during a soliloquy. Believe me now. In addition to being an actor, I'm also a cook, and I've written a cookbook called Fat Rascals Dining at Shakespeare's Table. Why did I do this? Well, basically, I thought it would be fun. And when I say fun, I mean actually fun, not fun in that way that I tell my six-year-old. Number bonds are fun. Spelling practice at breakfast is fun. Pick up your room. It's so much fun. I mean, I actually thought it would be fun to travel back in time and taste some of the things that Shakespeare tasted. Some of the things. Some of the things. And so that's why I wrote this book, Fat Rascals Dining at Shakespeare's Table. Oh, it's real, baby. It even has blurbs on the back. So I spent a year combing Shakespeare's plays. Hmm. 99, 100. Hmm. And I discovered something. Shakespeare talks a lot about food. He talks about food people eat. He talks about how people look like food. He insults people with food. He names characters after food. He bakes his characters into food. So I took all of these references I found in the plays, and then I cross-referenced them against several 16th century and 17th century cookbooks. I took those recipes, updated them for the modern kitchen, and then compiled them all in this book, Fat Rascals Dining at Shakespeare's Table. And today, I'm going to teach you how to make one of the recipes in the book. Chewits. Chewits. All right, quick literature lesson. In Henry IV, Part One, Prince Hal is trying to get Falstaff to be quiet, so he's not discovered by the police. And he says, peace, chew it, peace. Now, a chew it in this case is like a small meat pie. And so Hal is essentially using a fat joke. It's like my mom calling large babies butterballs, or her husband a cream puff, or me a 4th of July mistake. So, chew it. Let's get started. You're going to need these things. Thank you. 
It is a microphone. So you can say, my name is Henry Tufts, into the microphone if you want. My name is Henry Tufts, and I came here to just try to chew it. Oh, all right. Let's, let's, let's see. Let's see if this chew it will do it. Okay. Good? Mm-hmm. You want another bite? No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get out of here. All right. If you're interested in the book and you want to learn how to make other things, you can go to my website, john-tufts.com, click on Fat Rascals and order the book. Or you can go to your favorite theater's bookshop because they're the only people nerdy enough to actually stock the thing. Did I mention it has blurbs on the back? See you later, Shakespeare nerds. <laughs>